Okay, so let's go ahead and solve this equation here. We have negative 4 times x plus 2 equals negative 16. All right, so if you're doing equations like this, um, it's really important that you know how to solve the real basic equations, like, for example, let's say 2x equals 8, or x minus 1 equals 12, things like that. So if you don't know how to solve those basic type of equations, you really want to go back and review to make sure you know how to do that. Let me go ahead and walk you through here the steps to solve this equation. All right, so notice that we have parentheses, okay? And so anytime you see the print, your parentheses like this or surrounding some sort of quantity where there's a variable inside, that's an automatic uh, kind of signal that you're going to have to use the, the distributive property. Okay, and what the distributive property says is that we're going to take this number, okay, to the outside of the parentheses, and we're going to distribute it using multiplication to whatever's on the inside. Okay, because when I have these parentheses here, I can't really do anything with this uh, part of the equation. I'm kind of stuck. But if I use the, uh, the distributive property, I can kind of, you know, um, see what's going on more clearly. So now, I'm going to take that negative 4 and I'm going to times it by x. Okay, or 1x. That's going to give us negative 4x. Okay, now I'm going to add that too because this is with a plus sign. So I'm going to continue to write my plus sign here. Negative 4 times this 2 there. Okay, so negative 4 times 2, of course, is negative 8. So now what I've done is I rewrote that part of the equation as negative 4 plus negative 8 equals negative 16. Okay, so now I kind of see what's going on a little bit better, and I can start, you know, uh, start taking my next steps to solve this thing. Okay, so what do I want to do here? I have negative 4 plus negative 8 equals negative 16. Remember, I want to get x by itself on the left-hand side of the equation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add I'm going to add a positive 8 to both sides of the equation, okay? So I can kind of get rid of all this stuff next to this x. And I'll show you what I mean here in a second. Let's go ahead and take the next step here. So I'm going to add an 8 to both sides of the equation. And when you when you've done that or when you're when you write these steps, when you're going to add or subtract a number to both sides of the equation, you always want to write it the way I'm doing, and you kind of want to add down in a column manner. So let me show you. This would be negative 4x plus nothing is negative 4x. Okay. A negative 8 plus 8 is 0. That's what I want. Okay. And that's going to be equal to negative 16 plus 8. Okay, so what's negative 16 plus 8? If you're struggling with your positive and negative numbers, you're going to have a tough time solving equations. But that is negative 8. Okay? All right, so now let me go ahead and just kind of review real, real quick why I chose to add 8 to both sides of the equation. Okay, remember, what I want to do is I want to get x by itself on the left-hand side of the equation. So I'm rewriting the equation in a simpler and simpler manner. Okay, so instead of negative 4x plus a negative 8 equal, equals negative 16, by taking this step, by adding 8 to both sides, I now have negative 4x equals negative 8. These two equations are equal; they're equivalent. Okay, um, so if I said solve the equation, and you have a choice, you can either do this one; they're the same equation, or you can do this one. Obviously, you would take the second one because it looks easier. There's less to do, and that is the kind of key concept in algebra. Okay, well, when you're solving equations, really all we're doing is we're we're rewriting the equation in a simpler and simpler and simpler manner. We're not changing the essence of it. We're not breaking it or, or, or changing it. We're just rewriting it in an easier manner. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish this thing up. So we have negative, four a, negative 4x equals negative 8. And you always want to show your work just how, how I'm doing it here. Okay, I'm always rewriting the equation nice and easy to understand, understand for your teacher and for yourself. So we have negative 4x equals negative 8. So now I'm going to go ahead and divide both sides of the equation by negative 4. Now, why did I do that? Because negative 4 divided by negative 4 is a positive 1, x, okay? So, or x. So negative 4, x divided by negative 4 is 1, or there's simply x. And now I have negative 8 divided by a negative 4 is a positive 2. And that's your solution, okay? So if you understand the principles here, okay, then you'll be able to solve you know, more uh, challenging equations. Just remember, 
key thing uh, in this particular equation was to use the to use the distributive property right off the bat. Okay, so when you see these parentheses, that's a good indication that hey, before I do anything else, I'm going to have to use the distributive property. All right, so if you need more help with algebra or solving equations or other math topics, come check us out at algebratesthelper.com. It's just a free uh, site, uh, free videos, free notes, all kinds of good stuff for you. All right, have a great day.